Hi, this is Nicholas Vardy, editor of the Oxford Swing Trader, and welcome to this week's edition of my weekly video series, Swing Trading Next Picks. In this series of bi-weekly videos, I offer viewers just like you a taster of the kind of recommendations I provide for my paid subscribers at Oxford Swing Trader. Now, if you're new to Swing Trader, let me provide a quick summary of what swing trading is. Swing trading is an active approach to trading that profits from short-term moves in a stock. The process of swing trading goes something like this. Number one, identify the stocks that are likely to move soon. Number two, enter a position. Number three, wait for the stock to rebound to what I call its primary trend. And finally, sell your position two to 10 days later to lock in your gains. It's all very straightforward. So with that, let's get into this week's new swing trader recommendation right away. Founded in 1883, Cincinnati, Ohio-based Kroger Company is a household name. This well-known supermarket brand operates over 2,700 retail food stores in 35 states and the District of Columbia. Now, with foot traffic to stores recovering quickly after the COVID-19 epidemic, Kroger reported an impressive set of second quarter fiscal 2020 results on September 11th. Both earnings and revenues beat estimates and showed a significant year-on-year -year improvement. Kroger delivered adjusted earnings of 73 cents a share that crushed estimates of 51 cents. This was the third straight quarter Kroger reported an earnings surprise. Now, management forecasts fiscal 2020 earnings between $3.20 and $3.30 per share. This reflects an increase of 40 to 45 percent on a year-on-year -year basis. Now, this is the kind of earnings growth you'd expect from a tech company, not a well-established retail giant. Nevertheless, as the chart confirms, shares of Kroger have lost around 12.5% since peaking on September 2nd. Why is that? Well, you can chalk it up to Mr. Market's mood swings, but it's precisely this kind of overreaction that is the bread and butter trade for us swing traders. With that, let's get into the swing trader parameters. The last closing price for Kroger was $32.02. The trade setup was the swing trader algorithms fired on the channel system, the overreaction system, the classic five days down pattern. The stock also was also oversold on the RSI and triggered the 1SD move. The buy zone for the stock is between $31 and $33. The stop loss is set at $29.90, or roughly 6.6% from its most recent closing price. The target price for the stock is about $37, or about a 15% gain. So the action to take here is to buy the Kroger company ticker symbol KR, and set your stop at $29.90. Now note that each recommendation I make to my paid subscribers at Oxford Swing Trader, I always make an option recommendation as well, because options are the key to making eye-popping gains over a very short period. Now here's a summary of the option gains that Veronique M made on my recommendation of Take-Two Interactive Software options earlier this summer. Veronique made some tremendous gains between 50 and 83.3. 33% over the course of five separate option trades. Now, Veronique is an active trader, so her gains are not typical. Still, Veronique generated all these option gains on the back of a single Oxford Swing Trader recommendation. So well done, Veronique. So there you have it, another solid swing trade opportunity you can act on today. Now, I can't guarantee that Kroger will generate double-digit gains over the next 10 days or so, but many of the trades I've already recommended to my Oxford Swing Trader subscribers have done just that. Oxford Swing Trader recommends an average of two swing trades like this a week, so you'll have plenty of opportunities, about 100 a year in fact, to generate quick gains using swing trading methods. So join me at Oxford Swing Trader. The link to sign up is in the description below. Stay tuned for my, the next edition of Nick's Picks in two weeks' time. Thanks for watching.